Today on RUTV, we reflect on Dr. Keller's time as our district superintendent. Then, Ian keeps us informed on current events. So lock in, because it all starts right now on RUTV. Today is Friday the 16th, and welcome to the merriest of broadcasts. I'm McConaughey Cardell. And I'm Elijah Hughes. For the last 16 years, Dr. Stephen Keller has served as the top dog of RBUSD. That's as long as I've been alive. Dude, you're kidding. It's crazy. Anyways, we interviewed Dr. Keller to commemorate his top moments here at RBUSD. My name is Stephen Keller and I'm the proud superintendent of schools for the Redondo Beach Unified School District. I was wanting a district that had a lot going for it but needed a little bit of a push. Uh, and 16 years ago, 17 years ago, this district needed a push. So when somebody says, hey, you know, there's an issue over, you know, on Juanita, you know, get over there. I know where it's at. I knew where every school was at. Uh, when you're new to a community, especially in education, you know, you're part, you know, schools are part of a community. So knowing streets and locations, I knew every school. Um, I think that was the easiest part, it's just knowing where to go. The most important part of my job as superintendent is managing and leading the school and school district in the larger community. I think Dr. Wesley understands that as well as anybody. So when I got here, you know, I was lucky enough to get this puzzle of pieces, and some of the pieces were already in place. But I had a lot of pieces in my hand that needed to be put in the right spots. Long story short, I think over the years, um, the pieces have have come together of the puzzle and I would just say this the puzzle is beautiful but the puzzle is not done there's a few pieces left I'd like to tell Dr. Wesley that most of the puzzle is done so don't try to take credit for completing the puzzle because I got most of it done but the extra pieces that she's going to finish are going to be are going to take it to the next level and I think it's going to be a beautiful uh, puzzle that she'll display and um, take full credit for and, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks, Dr. Keller. We're really going to miss you. For sure. But, you know, right now I really miss my pals Nathan and Isla. Me too. You snow the drill. Let's sled on over to sports. Welcome back to RUTV Sports. I'm Nathan Robertson. And I'm Isla Rogers. Girls basketball played Linwood on Tuesday but lost a hard fought game by three points, 48 to 51. The girls are back in action tonight at 7 p.m. in the small gym, so show up and cheer on the RC Hawks. Boys basketball played San Diego High School last Friday in another close game, but unfortunately they also fell short by three points, losing 63 to 66. RC Hawks are playing in the Tarkanian Classic over the break, starting on Monday the 19th. Good luck. Boys soccer lost to Los Al on Tuesday. They had a good start going up 2-1 at the half, but they were unable to carry the momentum over to the second half, conceding two goals for a final score of 2-3. They return after the break on January 3rd for a home match against PV. Girls water polo played Long Beach Poly last Monday. They fought hard until the end, but sadly they lost 6-12. Last Wednesday, girls soccer took the win against South Torrance. Junior Ali Minestrella and sophomore Vailana Tuua both had an awesome game, each scoring two goals. Sophomore Shannon Davidson topped it off by scoring once for a final score of 5-2. Great job, girls, and keep up the good work. On Tuesday, girls and boys wrestling held a four-way duel against Harvard-Westlake, West Torrance, and Downey. As a team, the boys took on Harvard-Westlake and beat them 66-9. They also had matches against West Torrance, pulling off another great team win, 41-30. The girls also had a great night with Faith Bree, Lakshmi Upadhyay, Kinsey Conrad, and Olivia Rupert, all winning their matches. Great work to all of our wrestlers. We are looking forward to reporting on the rest of your season. That's all for this week. Happy holidays to all of our Seahawk athletes, and go, go Seahawks. Seahawks! So proud of all of our athletes. I see all of the hard work you guys have been putting in. All our teams have such great seasons ahead of them, but let's take a peek at what's happening right now. Here's Ian with current events. Thanks, Elijah. This past week, the World Cup quarter and semifinals took place. Argentina faced off against Croatia with an astounding 3-0 win for Argentina following the eliminations of Brazil and Netherlands. 
France beat out Morocco with a score of 2-0 following the eliminations of England and Portugal. In Argentina and France face off on Sunday, the 18th, for the World Cup final, so make sure to tune in. Last Sunday, Vice President Kamala Harris swore in Karen Bass into office for LA County. Bass states that homelessness is her number one priority and she will be the first woman and second African American to hold the position as mayor of Los Angeles. Last Thursday, on December 8th, Victor Bout, a Russian arms dealer nicknamed the Merchant of Death, was released on a swap for WNBA player Brittany Griner. Griner was sentenced to nine years in prison in early August after authorities found cannabis oil in her luggage back in February. Victor Bout served a 25-year sentence in the U.S. after being charged for conspiring to kill Americans, exporting anti-aircraft missiles, and providing support to terrorist organizations. On Monday, U.S. scientists at the National Ignition Facility in California produced a nuclear fusion reaction for the first time ever. This is a massive scientific step towards harnessing the much more efficient power of nuclear fusion to create more sources of clean energy. Missile explosions were reported by citizens in and around Russian-occupied Melitopol in southern Ukraine. Explosions from the Crimean Peninsula have been also been reported. So far, officials from Ukraine have not commented on the explosions in both locations. That was Current Events. I'm Ian Lee, and back to you guys in the studio. Winter break will finally be here in a few short hours. We all deserve a long rest after months of school. I love break and all, but there's snow time like the present. Dude, your jokes are atrocious. How rude of you. Oh my God. I think they're tremendous. They're pretty bad, and they lack creativity. If you think you can be more creative and inventive than Mac, register for the Invention Convention by Wednesday, February 1st. It's a pretty cool event where problem solvers and inventors can show off their skills. Well, Seahawks, that's a wrap for this week's broadcast. Just a reminder, there's no school January 2nd, so enjoy that extra day of rest after we bring in the new year. I'm McConaughey Curdo. And I'm Elijah Hughes. Have a fantastic winter break, stay warm, have fun, and we will see you in 2023. As always, keep, keep on, on soaring, Seahawks! Seahawks.